courtesy of my favourite club in London, in the UK actually, Fold, have launched a pretty decent club night that I'm surprised it didn't do sooner, but I also think will serve as an interesting um, option out there in our clubbing landscape. And it is as follows. This is taken from the Instagram account and it reads the caption as follows um our resident artists are more than our family they are our voice the voice that um, audiences here across the planet and associate with fold they convey our ethos on and off the dance floor both here in london and further afar our new residents night resistance i love the name will platform their voices their sounds and their ideas the first edition will showcase the majority of our residents then all future editions will be curated by different residents each time which is a clever clever idea so which it's kind of similar to what Berkheim does anyway with their residents right in some way but of course they don't give them the opportunity to program it but they'll have a residence night kind of and then they'll also have nights that are kind of programmed by residents who maybe bring people in or if they've got their own label they might bring some of their label artists involved they kind of mix it up that way but i do like this option that they're serving up i'd imagine a lot of it maybe have to do with what's happening with the pandemic it's a new world now so maybe getting big people in all the time and filling out visas and stuff is not as easy as it once was i'm even just the other day who's the who couldn't play um what's his face um oh what's his name um et up kyle couldn't come to the uk i think he was actually meant to play in fold actually um this past weekend but he couldn't come because you know he couldn't get his visa sorted out so i'd imagine in terms of operations behind the scenes getting people to come and play isn't as easy as it once was especially in a post-brexit world too so if you're fold and you've got a legit good core audience of people who love the club it's turned into a little bit of a hipster thing to be part of fold and to go to unfold and stuff and all this stuff and hang around there and wear the bag and wear the merch which is cool but you know it's getting it's getting a bit hipster but i get it but it still means that they have real fans fans that love it like myself who just go blind i'll just go on a random day just because i want to go party and have a good time and and get on it and i'll just go i don't care who's playing and i'm sure some people do the same thing um so that's obviously good and then they have the other thing which i think is really clever they have that unfold night on sundays which is one of the only sunday day party going into night that we have in london that's any decent and they have them you know whenever they put put them on i think it's what happening this sunday and usually those unfold nights are nights that they just promote like locals and friends and people associated with the club and they don't you know announce the lineup beforehand it's just go there you pay 10 pounds they play music during the day all the way up until like 1 a.m i think or 12 and then you head on out but from what i've heard again i haven't been there because you know unfortunately all the jobs i've had and my lifestyle and stuff just doesn't permit me to go out on a sunday especially the way that i like to go out because i don't want it to roll onto the monday but from what i've heard it's a really good vibe so i can envisage i can envision a a future where they maybe use unfold as a place to kind of test people or t as, as a as a testing proving ground quote unquote let people kind of you know um, play to a crowd get their chops smarten up their you know sharpen up their skills whatever it may be then if there's a right fit you can then put them on the resistance night instead of chucking them you know in the deep end with like a big label night or like a big dj guest kind of person that that's not needed and then build them up that way so it can go back to the old days of actually having resident DJs. that's how resident djs were actually developed it's kind of like an a and r type thing you you developed resident djs through that way by having them play like maybe a dead night in the week maybe it was like a thursday or a wednesday in your club you let them play those nights those nights become pretty popular people start to maybe come to those because they want to hear those people play you then maybe start inserting them in some of the other peak nights around the week blah 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 and then slowly but surely they then come to a point where they become the headliner themselves but for whatever reason in the uk that hasn't really been a thing for a long time it was always about inviting guests and it feels like because of just the circumstances of the world again in the post-pandemic world people are now more um willing to give resident djs local djs a chance to play and i always advocate for that because for myself selfishly i didn't see a pathway through to get to those places to play because unless you're somebody that produced unless you're somebody that's co-signed unless you're somebody that's part of a collective or you work in a record store it's really difficult to go and play those places as like a normal punter like myself who's a fan and loves the music and has been playing in my own capacity for 10 years it's hard to find a way in but if they have this kind of residence program it kind of gives me an idea okay cool this is a pathway to kind of go in there and i'm sure for other people it's the same thing too they see it like all right cool if i maybe get myself on unfold um if i maybe go through there maybe it can you know get me to a point where people recognize me and see what i play like what i do and then that might serve as a pathway to get on resistance that might serve others to go there do you know what i mean there's a thing there and then it wouldn't surprise me also later on if they end up becoming 
having their own in-house booking agency, similar to what Possession did recently, right? They've got their own booking agency as well, where they have their own people who play that hard dance, hard trance, whatever hardcore music they play. And it's all come because of, you know, them promoting their own people and they put their events on, um, you know, to supplement the big DJs they played. So I, th I think it's a really good idea. Anyway, it continues. Um, each resident will have the complete control of the lineups, culminating in a night that reflects their individual sound. Resistance number one, which I'll be at because I always like to go to the first one. I was at the first dance in 2018. I'm going to go to this one too and um, we'll be on saturday the 25th of june you can get your tickets in the description i think i guess or on the website the photos are by a person called who's that what's their name the, the, the pictures are really nice i gotta be honest the pictures are really really nice come on you gonna show me the thing oh, this my uh, the, the the photographer's name is evac e evac salvi evac salvi um so yeah there's pictures of the resident djs here uh you've got voice drone you've got a person called anna annabelle who is it is that anna annabella arayo uh you've got a person called james newmarch you've got a person called albert haidari you've got a person called gareth wild uh another person who i skipped there called uh andromeda another person there called seven x zines i don't know how you pronounce that um and another person who looks absolutely amazing called lockhearts the only thing i'd say again the pictures are awesome the only thing i say is kind of white in it it's really 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 white <laughs> that's the only thing i'd say which doesn't really represent the club really because again i've been there a lot of times and i think a lot of people who've kind of watched my channel also have been there themselves the club is really cool like that because it kind of covers a whole range of people especially in london it kind of is a good sort of melting pot i think for the different sort of vibes of people that go there you know the other time i went to go see flipping christian ab play and i was really surprised to see that amount of black people in fold because obviously christian ab being a black dj himself and also that sound tech house kind of tip you know maybe attracts that kind of uh crowd and they were all there in fold so it clearly has the appeal to be able to you know pull in people from the what i would deem to be the alternative kind of nightlife scene in terms of lgbtq plus um, raves or the kind of kink parties and then also kind of pulling in typical tech housey type people and you know melodic house and deep house type people so it would be nice to see different residents here that maybe kind of speak to the um the vast array of colors and shades and color races and creeds and stuff involved there or maybe it's not such a big deal i don't really know but that's one thing i just point i just kind of saw you know what i mean it's just it is kind of white but the pictures are really nice um i'm sure it's gonna be a great event i'm looking forward to it 25th of june happening soon